Hello, Explorer! Thank you for tuning in. Um, my name's Carla. Some of you might remember me. Um, I'm going to start off, I believe we have a birthday this week. Um, Katrina Wilson, happy birthday. So um, we're just going to sing together. So why don't you sing happy birthday to Katrina with me? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katrina. Happy birthday to you. I hope you had a lovely day, Katrina, on Friday. Anyway, today we're going to be looking into a passage from the book of Acts, um, all about Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. So, stay tuned to find out more about that. Right now, I'm going to skip over to a little um, section that I filmed with my mum earlier today, which will help us to understand this passage a little bit better. Okay, so I am joined here by my mother, um, who some of you may or may not know is German, and she's going to help us with a little demonstration about, which helps us to understand the passage that we're about to read. Okay. Okay. So, um, Barbara is writing out a sentence in German right now. Here she goes. So how about, as she's writing it, you try and sound it out for yourself and see if you can work out what it says or if you can pronounce it in any way. So I speak a little bit of German, but I think even if I didn't, even if I spoke fluent German, <laughs> well, not quite, I'd find that quite hard to say. Um, so, Mom, why don't you say, why don't you say what that says? Die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung hier ist 30. Okay. Why don't you try and say that? <laughs> I definitely can. Die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung hier ist 30. Okay, so you might have been able to say that, say it badly or well, but even if you could pronounce it, you might not be able to say what it means. So, Mum, why don't you say what it means? So, it means that the speed limit here is 30. The speed limit here is 30. So, how about that? <laughs> well, thank you, Mum! <laughs> so, today we're going to be looking at a little story from the book of Acts, chapter 8. Um, and the side title of this section is called Philip and the Ethiopian. So, for a bit of context, Around this time, Stephen the, Stephen the disciple had just been stoned for boldly proclaiming that Jesus is the king. So he's been killed. And at this point, the church has been scattered. And all those who believe in Jesus are being persecuted and hunted down for their faith. And so they're having to run away. But the man of Philip, he's run away to Caesarea, to Samaria, sorry. And there he is in Samaria and he's performing loads of miracles and demons are coming out of people and they're being he miraculously healed and there is great rejoicing and loads of people are accepting Jesus and allowing him to come into their life for the first time. So that's where we are at this point. So we're going to start reading from um, Acts chapter 8 verse 26 which says, Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and on his way, he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of the Kandik, which means the queen of the Ethiopians. So this is a very important official in Ethiopia. The man has gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home was sitting in his chariot, reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirits told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. So Philip ran up to the chariot. Oh. Philip ran up to the chariot and said, and he heard the man reading the Isaiah, reading from Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? Philip asked. How can I? He said, unless somebody explains it to me. So he invited Philip up to come and sit with him. So the man was reading a passage from Isaiah, which talks a lot about Jesus being the lamb, being like a sheep to slaughter, and how he gave himself up willingly to die on our behalf. But this man didn't understand this. The eunuch didn't understand this because 
he hadn't heard about Jesus rising from the dead for our sins. The eunuch asked Philip, tell me please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they travelled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, Look, here is some water. What can stand in the way of my being baptised? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and Philip baptised him. When he came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away and the eunuch did not see him again, but he went on his way rejoicing. There are so many ways in which God shows that he was totally in control in this story. How cool is it that God put this specific part of the Bible into the Ethiopian eunuch's hands and he also placed Philip right there to help explain it to him. It's so incredible for me to think that this was the beginning of Christianity in Africa, that Philip was able to explain the amazing news of Jesus Christ to this Ethiopian eunuch and he was then able to go back to his home country and share that with everybody there. And that was the beginning of how Christianity spread to Africa, this huge continent on this world. And that's so amazing because God uses ordinary people like me and you to share the gospel with people. All he needs is for us to be obedient to him and willing to serve and willing to listen um, when he might instruct us to go somewhere. Sometimes it can be hard to admit when we don't understand what we're reading in the Bible. Some of you may have not been able to understand what my mum wrote at the beginning of this video when she wrote that really complicated sentence in German and that's a similar idea. Sometimes we read things and we can understand the words but we don't understand what they mean and this was the situation um, with the Ethiopian eunuch. He could read the words in Isaiah but he didn't understand what they meant or how they applied to his life and he needed somebody like Philip to explain it to him properly. And we can be like that for our friends, we can explain the gospel to people so they might realise what amazing news it is and want to realise and want to come to know Jesus for themselves. The Bible is not a book that can only be understood by special priests. It is a book for all. It is God, your Father, speaking to you. And there are teachers that can help us to see how to read the Bible for ourselves. Now we have understand, understood Jesus' message, Jesus' message for ourselves. We know that God loves us. We know that we're broken and sinful and we need to be saved from ourselves and that Jesus died in our place so that we can have a relationship with God and live with him forever in heaven. But, like Philip explained to the Ethiopian eunuch, Jesus also tells us to go out and share this story with people all over the world. The song that we're going to sing now is all about this. We want everybody to know how amazing Jesus is so that they can come and meet him for themselves as well. And so that's what this song is about, so you might not know it, so I'm going to sing the chorus to you. It goes like this. Tell the world that Jesus lived. Tell the world that, tell the world that, tell the world that he died for them. Tell the world that he lives again. Okay? Now the bridge, the bridge goes like this. Come on, come on, we'll tell the world about Um, I'm now going to sing the rest of the song and you're welcome to join in with me so at least even if you don't know the words to the verses you can at least join in with me on the chorus and the bridge so let's sing together don't want to stand here and shout your praise then walk away and forget your name I'll stand for you if that's all I do because there is none that compares to you because all I want in this lifetime
just to finish and then I'll let you go on. Father God, um, I thank you that you help us to understand your Bible. I thank you God that the Bible is a resource that we can read to know you better. And so Father, I pray that you would show us and that you would give us chances to share you with our friends. I pray God that you would use us as you used Philip um, to really explain the gospel and explain um, why Jesus is so important to us so that other people can discover him for themselves. So be with us as we go from here. I pray that you would bless us um, until we can meet again. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>